Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect 3. Last time I started the Priority Thessia mission and I made it to the remains of an outpost here. And today, hopefully, I'm going to be able to make it to the temple and get in touch with the scientists. So let's get right to it. Alright, uh, the Asari temple's over there. There was a huge fight right here last time. That uh, gunship over there is giving me some support, hopefully. So, uh, probably going to be more... Oh yeah, there's spore pods up here. This is going to be fun to deal with. Alright, great. Anyone want a reaper omelette? Alright, assault rifle, extended barrel. Nifty, nifty, nifty. Alright, great. I Oh yeah, I see him. There's a husk right there. More of the dead are attacking. You make some sound like zombies. Well, I guess they basically are, right? They're like reaper zombies. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, hang tight. Well what oh is that is that our bogey right there? Alright, another dragon bird thing there. I'm gonna Oh, she's gonna go down fighting this. Watch, she's gonna go down. Say bye, because she's she's toast. I already know it. Alright, more spore pods. I'm, I just know I'm going to accidentally trip over one and blow it up. I'm just waiting for it to happen. Alright, there's another one. And another, and another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, 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 fire from above. What's going on? Is it, oh, the harvester. Okay. <gasps> oh, limoly, there went all of my shields. Alright, there's, oh, and there's a, ra look at that sneaky ravager. Do I have a, do I have a missile launcher or something on the ground here? I hate those ravagers. Alright, um, gosh, this is a pretty bad situation. I don't know if these guys are, um, close enough. Oh, he's got armor too. Dang. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, was it there? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm in such a bad position here. Alright. Uh, oh. Oh, my gosh. They don't... Yeah. Keep your head down and give them everything you've got. How? I can't... They don't stop. There, I, I managed to overload one. Oh my gosh, they don't stop. Oh, and the shields are back by the time I can, by the time I can poke my head over here. Alright, I over, oh, oh gee, oh jeez, thank, oh jeez, thank goodness you're here. Alright, I can put some hurt on, oh Liara, you shouldn't be over there, you're, you're a fool Liara. Alright, well, we are in Javik or dead because they decide I need to- I've got to control these guys, I can't- Oh, they're- I'm getting my shield hit here too. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my whole life? Okay, um... Hi, uh, let's do that and... Oh jeez, my shield's gone. I don't- I don't- Take cover to regen shields. Alright, yeah, 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 I'm doing it. Alright, there we go. There's one of those things down. Alright, uh, need to mosey a bit over here. I'm in trouble. My shield's just took damage. Oh no. Oh. Talon going down. Great. Talon ah! Oh jeez. I feel like that's my fault for sucking at the game and not- So much sacrifice. We have to make it worth something. Oh, whoops. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just like, I see something. Bam! Flare! <laughs> alright, alright. Um... Gosh, that was a lot of really sucky monsters, and yeah, I'm guessing she would have probably lived if I didn't completely suck butt at this game. Well, thanks, Talon5. Yuck. I really wish I could have. Uh, I wish I could. Uh, I wish she could have made it. There were five billion Asari when this war began. I wonder how many we've lost today. It's so... I mean, even amidst all of the warfare, the smoke, it's still so beautiful here. All this water and the buildings. Thessia really is just a beautiful place. 
Alright, this must be the the temple. This is it. Great. Alright, well let me just look over here. No no goodies. Alright, well I have arrived at the temple. SMG heat sink there. Looks like we're in the clear. Let's get inside. It Lock. appears the temple has been barricaded. Alright, thanks, uh thanks, Captain Obvious. Let's bypass Let it. Let me take a look. It's military-grade encryption. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix among Asari? No. This is unusual. Oh. Especially since few still follow the Afame doctrine. Thanks for the insight. So, wait a minute. She can hack this file, no problem. But she can't break into Benezia's file. Or, not a file, but she can bypass this, but she can't break into Benezia's files. Okay. Alright. I guess we're in. Oh, it's it's so pretty in here too. And it looks it looks pretty clean. No no destruction of anything. Whatever that barrier was, it must have been stronger than any assault. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh something is wrong. Your scientist should be here. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Oh, really? Investigate the artifacts. See, I would have thought that, um, I thought this was going to be like the Ardat Yakshi Monastery where I would have to go, like, deep within the place. I didn't think it was going to be here. I'm gonna save. I didn't think it would be front and center like this. Alright, let's see what we got here. A shield. Looks like there's a face on it. See the eyes right there in the, uh, chest. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's this? The goddess Athene's shield. Legends say she used it to protect Thessia when the heavens grew angry. Our ancestors were probably misinterpreting a meteor shower. Mm -hmm. It was an asteroid strike. We deflected it. You mean the Protheans? But that would imply a thing. Is not what you believe her to be. <laughs> Just keep looking. Gosh, you know, that's kind of... Oh, gosh. I don't... Uh, that's kind of depressing to think about. What was religion to the Asari was science to the Protheans. Really glad that um, Javik's here to give us insight. I don't think that's the artifact. Oh, yeah? I what? don't think that's the artifact. You sure? I don't think that's the artifact. One more time for luck. I don't think okay. that's the artifact. I don't think it's the artifact. All right, a sword. Could this be the artifact? Uh, no. I don't think so. It's the goddess of Thames sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Ouroboros. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened in our past? It's more than a suggestion. I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. Hmm. So, um, I'm, I'm guessing Jav... Gosh, you know, it's hard to believe that Javik is a DLC character when he has so much insight to all of this. Like, my gosh, it's like, he, he, he should be required for this mission by far. So, if the Protheans intervened during the Asari... Um, history, D does that mean they intervened with humanity as well? Something to think about. That's a Thames sword, not our artifact. You sure? That's a Thames sword, not our artifact. Okay, I won't do this again. Alright, let's keep looking around in here then. Sword and shield up front and center, fine. Oh, these must be the pews or whatever. Man, they look a lot more comfy than any of those boring old wooden ones and, uh, you know, in churches and stuff. I definitely think this I'm is... I'm guessing these are the scientists. Hmm, suicide? Was it... they're right next to each other. Did they... did they check out early? Because it doesn't... like, this place is pristine. It doesn't look like there was any damage. Whatever... whatever killed these Asari was not... it wasn't a Reaper. But it had to be someone that could slip through the barrier, so... It had to either be suicide or... 
hmm, maybe there's a scientist who lost their mind in the midst of all of this. Oh, there's, uh, there's more stuff around here. Hold on before I go front and center because that's where the good stuff is, right? All right, manuscript. How about this? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how Athame taught our ancestors mathematics. Before that, you could only count as high as your toes. We took pity. <laughs> wow, so... Wow, the Protheans actually intervened uh, quite a bit then. Hmm. So... Maybe the goddess was a Prothean or something. I still don't think that's our artifact. Alright, alright. Looking around some more. Alright, uh, something over here. What is this? A bust? Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Hold on. Oh yeah, definitely the wrong side. Oh yeah, that that would be a Prothean. You could tell by the the shape of the head, but look, there's only two eyes instead of four. Could it be a Prothean Asari hybrid? Dun dun dun! You two got something you want to talk about? Alright, let me see. Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, a Thames guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. And you don't see the resemblance? He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Yeah, it does it it does seem obvious, but why is he missing I mean, I guess if it's, you know, an ancient relic, you know, people I mean it had to be several thousand years ago, so no one really knew what the Protheans looked like or or this fellow, so you know, I guess they just did their best, or maybe they made it less creepy by only giving it two eyes, made it more Asari like, so it wasn't as uncomfortable to be, I don't know. No, I don't think that's it. Alright, alright, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, what else do we have in here? Hmm. Ma another manuscript. What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the season so they could grow crops. We didn't want you to starve. Aww. So, Janiri the Prothean <laughs> gave them food? Oh my gosh, what what the heck? The, the Protheans were meddling a whole bunch. I thought they were just supposed to be observers. I still don't think that's the artifact. I don't either, but it's very enlightening. Alright, let me look on the other side of this place. Let's see what's over here. This is fun. I kind of like this. I'm like going through a museum here. What about this one? Another page from the Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucin, a theme's guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. Pity you didn't live up to it. Oh, so the only reason the Protheans intervened is because they had what he says is potential, so... Hmm... Hmm, maybe he didn't, or maybe not he specifically, but he is in the Protheans. Maybe the Protheans didn't go to every species. We looked at that one. A page from the Codex. Okay. So it's not that one. Alright. Hey, it's another... It's another Prothean. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of the Thames servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Hmm... So, there are at least two Protheans guiding... Well, yeah, I'm wondering if the goddess was... Maybe the goddess herself was, or a Thame or whatever, herself was a Prothean, but um, that made maybe the believers too uncomfortable. You can't... I guess, I'm guessing... I don't know if those are statues or if those are supposed to be the... the, go, the this goddess or, or what. Alright, another manuscript. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... Uh, this is almost too much to take. We aren't making any progress. I think we should examine those scientists. I think, uh, I think Javik's been keeping a hell of a lot of information to himself. Holy 
moly. So, you know, I guess that explains why Javik has biotics. Well, I mean, it doesn't explain it, but Javik has biotics. The pro er, the um, Liara has biotics, so his people gave the Asari that gift, and every single Asari has it to some extent, right? Okay, a uh, mural here. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Giant Prothean, again with only two eyes. Uh, being ra like this, uh, this kind of wrapping makes me think it's, it's feminine because it's covering the bust, but I could be wrong. I mean, can't really tell, but the figure with the hips, this definitely looks a bit more feminine than masculine. Masculine, I would imagine, be a bit more blocky. You wouldn't have dad ass curve, basically. But I could be wrong. I'm usually wrong. Um, and we've got a bunch of doves, I guess. And then ancient Asari with um, plowshare or scythe and a club. So cavemen, cave women, cave Asari. <laughs> All right. Well, now let me actually look at it. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess of fame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. Oh? I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying? It's staggering. We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. Ooh, creepy. A fame was us. Yeah. A fame was the Protheans. I mean, look at that. That's, I mean, I, I mean, you don't really. I mean, Asari have kind of funny looking heads, but it's definitely not shaped like that. In fact, I mean, you can see the difference in the mural. That's how the Asari head looks, and that's how the Prothean head looks. Completely and absolutely, totally different. The only like real big difference is the uh, number of eyes, and like I said, I feel like. Giving a god four eyes would, you know, just freak everyone the hell out. They needed it to look a little bit more like them. All right, um, let's go. Uh, oh, there's. I can look at the statue. I'll save that for last. All right, this looks like pretty much the same thing. It's the goddess of fame again. You can still believe that, but it won't change the truth. Cool. The fame was Prothean. Wow, the Asari were the only reason they're anything is because of the Protheans. Now, did humanity? I, I don't know if the I don't think humans were were inspired or anything by the Protheans, which means they did all this by themselves. Ah ha ha! That should knock you off your high horse. Well, Liara never had an ego about her like uh, some of the other Asari do. All right, the statue now. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. Well, I already figured that We're out. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? It's a Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean your ancestors tried to hide the truth? I'm still not willing to believe any of that's real. Then why does a Thame speak Prothean? <laughs> what do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a Thame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. Whoa, what's going on here? Uh oh. There is a universal energy. Ah, there's a Prothean beacon here. <laughs> what? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. But what would there be to gain other than... I don't know, I guess... I mean, I guess all the... Yeah, it explains Asari's superiority. I guess it explains, you know, they kept the knowledge of biotic power, the technology, all the gifts from the Prothean that were buried on Thessia while the Reapers wiped out the Protheans, right? So, my gosh, you know, so was it actually, was it really a cover-up or was it just forgotten because... 
I don't know, how could thousands and thousands and thousands of years of Prothean history just be covered up like that? I mean, it seems like the secret would slip out. I mean, I just, I don't know, this is just boggling to me. I just, I, 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 I knew I wasn't ready for this mission. I feel like I, I just, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. All right, explains Asari superiority. Asari should share knowledge. I'd keep this quiet too. Well, you know, the old saying, knowledge is power. Well, let's, uh, let's go with this first. Explains Asari superiority. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. You can't keep denying reality, Asari. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? Ooh. Man, I can't imagine bringing anyone but Javik. Like, I honestly want to replay this mission just to see how it how it goes with someone else because it's like, Javik seems way too important, I guess, to the whole thing. I mean, I don't know, I guess it's kind of cool making the inferences for yourself. Whatever. Alright, we all learned from the Protheans. Protheans played God too much. Hey, my answer choices flipped here. Uh, or, well, they're not the same. We all learned from the Protheans. Protheans played God too much. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I kind of want to give Javik a hard time because he's always making jabs at everyone else, so Protheans played God too much. Leaving behind this sort of information was a mistake. We never really earned it, we just decoded it. Ooh. No species has enough time to earn it. The Reapers always destroy them. Without our knowledge, you would have no hope of winning this war. Uh, uh, I guess he's right, huh? Okay, that wasn't really the... Uh, way I was expecting to answer that, but it's kind of, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it anyway. Alright, uh, Asari should share knowledge, I'd keep this quiet too. Honestly, I, I think I'd keep this quiet, um, you know, like I said, knowledge is power, and I don't know, it's, it's not right, though, I mean, I don't know, Th this just seems, I don't know, I really don't know how to answer this, because it, it seems like too much, but, you know, maybe if the Asari had shared their knowledge, we would be better prepared to deal with the Reapers now, because like Javik said, the Reapers always wipe everyone out. You know what? I was gonna go with this, but I think I've kind of talked myself into this one. Asari should share the knowledge, because if they had, like Javik said, we would all be better prepared, because there's no way for any species to gain enough knowledge in one cycle to be able to deal with the Reapers. So yeah, Asari should have shared this. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. Yeah. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. Oh, snap. <gasps> the activation process has begun. Oh, snap. By the goddess. Literally. <laughs> Look around. There must be more of these connections. Oh, for really, really? Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Really? Or it could be the Prothean standing <laughs> next to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering. I kind of feel like that's like Liara's generic dialogue after that scene, and then Javik just kind of throws that in there or something. Keep searching. There have to be more connections nearby. Okay, so... It's going from... I guess I just kind of need to... Hmm... I'm guessing I just need to go to all the artifacts and check them. Like, do I... There is nothing useful here. Alright. The end of the war is near. Find what we need, finish the crucible, and vengeance is complete. Uh... I... You make it sound so easy when it's totally not that easy. Is, you know, I didn't uh, didn't really go over here. I don't. Hope there has I... to be another one around here. Oh, is yes. it? Oh, this isn't the connection. Oh no. Okay. All right. How about the bust? Oh yeah. Look, there's stuff going on here. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, they make it's it all. Gaining power. Okay, so it's gonna be anything with like Prothean stuff. So I'm guessing maybe this one. This doesn't nope. appear to be a connection. We should keep searching. 
All right, that's not a that's not Prothean then, so it's got to be the other. Your people hit them well, sorry. Bust. Indeed. Doesn't look like a connection. Oh, I guess I was flat wrong on that then. Okay, well, I I thought it would just be all the Prothean stuff. What about this one? It's, this has got to be one. No connection here. Oh. Huh. Okay. Keep searching. There have to be more connections nearby. Oh. Um, okay. Huh. All right, so those two. Um. Oh. Um. Hmm. 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 Yeah, it seems like there's got to be something that goes over this way. I'm just gonna click on everything. And click I can't on. believe this whole temple is a front. Yeah. Best place to hide a secret is out in the open. That is. Tr They've been extracting data from it for centuries. I never knew. Let's hope it doesn't take us as long. Yeah. Really. Gosh, that's. Oh man, that's boggling. I can't. Oh, okay. I can't de uh, even click on these again because I've already. Oh yeah. See, this one's got the blue on it. Okay, so it's anything. There, another one. It's, it's still not complete. Okay, it's the ones with like the blue flames around them. Like it's not complicated. I just need to touch them, right? All right. So not that. Make there has it to be another one around here. here. Yes. Wow. <laughs> the activation is complete. We can access the beacon now. No way. Seriously? Access the beacon? Oh my gosh, I'm about to get another vision, aren't I? Or even better, I guess information is better than a vision because this one's not damaged or we anything. We can access the beacon now. It's been in here safely for thousands of years. Oh my gosh, here I go. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... Oh my gosh, here it comes. Last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Wow. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. No! Hold on. What? We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the Crucible. Uh, a Prothean? Oh. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. Were all Protheans so grim? Yes, they were. Haven't you, have you not seen Javik? He's been here the, like almost the whole time. Do you really need to ask me that? All right. Well, here we go. I'm talking to a Prothean VI. All right, but we need your help. It isn't over yet. The Crucible. The Crucible. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy oh. them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Whoa. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps, though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. Whoa! So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. Oh man, I was not ready for any of this. Like, I've, I've heard the idea that, like, time moves, uh like in cycles or whatever and then there's the idea that time flows like through like like uh, like uh, grains of sand or whatever like through a uh, hourglass or whatever right that it just flows so really like interesting stuff but I don't feel like I really understand any of it very well I feel like I'm gonna have to go on a Wikipedia adventure for like theories or something after this video man this is so cool all right we're at the precipice of annihilation and you're trying to shut down help us there's still hope for this cycle we need to know what the catalyst is 
Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. True. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break this cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Wow. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Oh my gosh, so it's not even Prothean. It's more than 50,000 years old. It's millions of years old. Oh my gosh, that's staggering to think about. Was Were the planets as we know them even in the same place when this started? Oh my gosh. Gosh, I just oh my gosh, I was not ready for this, guys. I should have I should have stopped. I'm I'm not ready for this. My mind's being blown. This is great. I love this game. Okay, give us a chance. They weren't me. Oh, you know I gotta drop some ego in there. Well they weren't me, the great Rumiki Shepherd. I know a thing or two about killing Reapers. Just tell us what the catalyst is. Listen to the human. She can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Prothean. The last. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. Nice. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. What? No! Where? Who the hell is this? Oh, this dude! I forgot you. about him. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. <sighs> Someone would like to talk with you. Oh no. This is gonna be the elusive man, isn't it? Shepard. Oh. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? <laughs> Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard! Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There oh, would be nothing left. Gosh. Am I seriously having this conversation with this knucklehead again? You're indoctrinated. I mean, the darn VI just said so. I might as well be talking to a, a Reaper. Whose side are you on? What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. No, you don't. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? Oh my gosh, we need to work together. Listen to yourself. I used to trust you. You've lost touch. I kind of want to say this one. I used to trust you because, gosh, do you guys remember Mass Effect 2? Oh boy, the elusive man is great. He brought me back to life. Cerberus is great. Everything's great. They got me this new ship and everything. Oh boy. Listen to yourself. The Reapers have it right? You're indoctrinated. You're doing just what they want. Yeah, Shepard. I could say the same of you. Wasting time on a war that can't be won. At least I'm fighting. Never question my ability to fight. I've been fighting them longer than you can imagine. Uh-huh. And don't assume you know me. Uh-huh. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You're indoctrinated. I used to trust you. I might have believed you once, but you've gone too far. Shepard, you're out of your depth. There are choices coming that you're not equipped to make. At least I'll be making them as a human being. You're just some Reaper puppet. No, there's a better way forward. Humanity can be so much more. I'm finishing the Crucible and I'm sending the Reapers back to hell. Yeah. I can't let you do that. Oh no. Leng. The commander has something I need. Oh, to shoot. Please relieve her of it. Oh, shoot. It's and then fight. bring me the data. It's fight time. Understood. Oh, shoot. This is going to be a pain in the butt. <gasps> fight Kai Ling. Oh, my goodness. I am not ready for this, guys. 
Alright, I know this is going to be a really stupid time to stop, but I am going to stop there. And um, I, I just saw that it auto-saved, so I'll be able to pick up right at the beginning of the fight next time. So expect the beginning to just start with guns blazing. My goodness, guys. Thank you so much for watching... Uh, Mass Effect 3 today. This was such a cool, cool moment finding out the Protheans basically made the Asari what they were, and then finding, or er, we're gonna be fighting Kai Ling and learning that time may not flow the way that it's supposed to flow, and that the Crucible is millions of years. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Alright, well this is going to be a fun battle. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now!